I would rather not use the mic. Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Speak yeah. up. Yeah. Um, I want to thank Neil for putting these shows together. <laughs> Particularly for encouraging this kind of lecture piece, which I never would have had the opportunity to reflect on. 30 years of taking photographs, musical photographs mostly, and um, he's encouraged oh, me and... Hmm? You can still talk. I know, I don't... The I don't microphone. Don't <laughs> I just didn't know if the cheap seats, if, speak up if they're in the cheap seats and you came here. So, anyway, this is not a history lesson. It's not about um, the Boston scene or the, the Valley particularly in terms of music, but it's more about um, a process that through getting ready for this, I've discovered I have developed what I call um, energy photographs. And they're, they're not about... Um, the band so much as they are about relationships and about trying to find a moment in time that here is really pretty stagnant and representing something that's happening that's more than just um, a piece of music or a piece of history. But anyway, this is the moving parts in the early Boston days for me, late 70s, mid 70s, um, and this is just the beginning of it, so we'll go. I'm not sure what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> Slow trans. Oh, I think it's like okay. Well, and this is early mission to Burma, and again, um, you see, this is also going much faster than it hit, should. Hit the space bar to stop on it, and then we'll just let it go like that. Yeah. Okay, so we'll go one at a time. Yeah. Um, go backwards. Yeah, there's a. Here, I'll. You can just. Yeah. All right. So back to the beginning. Um, in the beginning for myself, I really liked con high contrast, the darks and the lights and the lines between the front and the back and exploring shadows and starting to get a sense. And this is not, even all the photos aren't on screen. I'm not sure what's happened, but. Um, early mission of Burma. And for us, this was a community thing. It was about a group of people who encouraged each other. And um, I don't know what to say about uh, the time so much, because that's not what this is about. But for me, it was about being around people and taking in their energy and sharing experiences. And Pastiche, another local band from the time, who uh, were around, I think this is, but it looks like it might be Cantons, but I'm not sure. There were, there were a lot of small places. Um, this is the maps. And here, the, re the reason I like this one, because this is more striking, and I'm, I'm getting to the, the darks and the lights and the depth in the, uh, the group. But yeah, now all the things I was going to say, I'm forgetting. It doesn't matter. But this is the neighborhoods. Again, um, what I'm working with here is contrast and and that's what kind of pops the energy for me at this point in time and this is the neighborhoods with Willie Alexander um, a bigger stage and a different kind of movement and I, at this point bringing in the energy of the crowd and becoming more aware of light and how light plays um, as time passes and there's more of that involved in some of these this is um, Dreadful in the Den, um, early days. Do you recognize that guy? <laughs> so here, too, at, at this time, I was um, involved in photography more seriously. And, and above and beyond the picture, there's the, um, the lines and the, the arcs here and the triangles here, and, and trying to, to work with composition and find um, that the, the lines between people are as important as um, what's happening around. This, this is important to me because Martin Swope, who was um, in Mission of Burma and in this version of the Din, 
uh, as we would sit around waiting for gigs, would teach me about John Cage. And I would sit and try and close my eyes and listen to people and conversations and all that. And being a visual person, it didn't quite work for me. So I would then watch people, and I would watch the lines between people and conversations and how things could go across the room. And somehow a lot of his influence in terms of Cage's ideas um, for music trans translated into my work at this point in time and thereafter. Uh, this is another dreadful the Din uh, channel. And, you know, again, the lines. And when I think of some of these people, this is the beginning of the, the headphones. And um, in, the, in the depths and, and also here. I, I guess for me, too, photography gave me a chance to uh, participate and to um, engage, contribute. And it became a little bit of a, I guess at some point in time, I, de I developed, not this early, but over time, I developed kind of moves uh, with the camera that enabled me to communicate something else that was happening. This is uh, Burma at the Bradford, and this is their last gig. And for those of us who were in that community, it was a really sad time. And I, and I was, it was also when slam dance, slam dancing made it harder for me to be <laughs> in the front of the stage taking pictures. So the combination of those things, I just started moving the camera. And I have another one from this period that I would have to dig up of the Minutemen that was not too long before Dean Boone passed away. So this is a kind of a breakthrough photograph. And then, um, Ed Yusidian and, and Dan Dreadful played the Middle East and nobody cared. So, <laughs> <laughs> so they went away. <laughs> and, and again, these, these pictures are all chopped. I don't, uh, but anyway, there's a time when uh, Byron Coley, another person in this area who inspires people and encourages us, uh, brought them together and gave them a chance to play. And I, you know, I think here's a, uh, with Ed's arm moving, I'm, I'm getting something coming back, you know, something energy that the two of them had, and um, it was years before they were able to put it together again. Um, this is um, a night photo where light becomes important as time passes. Um, it was for MV and EE, there was a, this is their little teardrop trailer, and we were doing a photo shoot uh, across the street from where Abby lived around the time, I think just before she left. And so, time passing, the setup, and the, there's still the twilight, and moving on a little further. Um, Grainy, but capturing something else about relationships and light and line. Um, hmm. These folks, <laughs> <laughs> um, the believers, and this is um, the, the wilder benefit uh, after some people we know lost their homes to fires. And, uh, there was just so, the white, there was something about the white, but there was also something about the movement. And, and obviously this is where I'm really starting to try and translate the energy um, into the photograph and communicate what, what I see. And sometimes it's my movement, sometimes it's the movement of the people performing. And uh, combination of light shifts. <laughs> and... Uh, people switching instruments and uh, just great legs. <laughs> <laughs> but, but there was, you know, some, this is the Believers again and this is at Pace. And uh, again, uh, lines of light and finding 
people in the audience, um, there's an energy here that is, to me, shows an intensity. Um, there's stillness and there's movement, but there's also this backdrop of a time when another community of people were together and um, so much of it is about that energy, that kind of community energy. Um, And again, this this line here in the foreground, and what's not there is as important as what is there: the movements and the uh, the people who put this together. This place, um, Dana and Carol. I wish they could be here tonight. Anyway, um, a little further into the set. I find that as the sets get going, there's, you know, I, it's partly my responding to the music and things that are happening on stage, and it's partly um, the interaction of people together as music gets going from the beginning of the set towards the end of the set. And then this one is, I don't know what to say about that, but this, <laughs> this, this when it works, this is what happens. <laughs> but the thing is that I could take a hundred shots and that's one thing that the digital camera has really helped with um, you know I could take a hundred shots and then I 200 shots in a weekend and if I get two that work like this it's okay it doesn't matter I haven't lost anything um, this is gown also at pace and there was just something about the way he, the way he plays guitar and the way he moves that just there's an intensity there that I think comes through. Um, this is Jack Rose and and Glenn Jones at a uh, gallery in Northampton. And there was something about coming out of the Free Folk Festival where those two guys got to know each other and all of a sudden, out of that relationship, um, they both, I, I think, um, developed a friendship that helped music on, on both in both sides here. And so this was a, a pretty important night when they were playing together in a small setting. And this is another thing that happened, and, and I don't know how it happened, I don't, but this is more like a multiple exposure. And a, a lot of what I do is I just play. I move the camera, I pay attention to light, I pay attention to line, and things happen. But that's one that I also like. Um, this is Jack, and w the next one I like even better where there was this, it was a gallery setting, so there was a painting of a horse up here, and there was something about the horse energy and the way he was moving and his hair in this that I, th I just thought went together. And John Shaw at uh, Flywheel. Oh, it's Cooper. No, it, it really is John Shaw. <laughs> yeah, it really is. And, um, because he was playing with Anna. And so, um, it just, you know, yeah, it just kind of captures a moment in time when, uh, but it's more than that. I mean, again, Flywheel's another community, and it, you know, you see that background, and you've been there, you know that that's, a, a particular um, time when people came together and supported each other and, and really encouraged each other to do all kinds of things they might not have done otherwise. Um, and this is Bummer Road at Flywheel. Mm -hmm. Again, really cut on both sides. But um, this, this one I like because it's really hard to get five people all kind of moving at the same time but in conjunction with each other and that was happening in this picture. Um, this is Char Lambities at the 11s and um, it was November and there was this pumpkin left over that was packed and there's just something about how you know Tom Carter's head's like just out of the, I, but that, yeah that kind of was something I liked. Um, and this is Christina singing, and this just somehow that night, it just she was just pouring her heart out, and it just to the group that was there, and this for me captured 
the sense of her connecting with the audience that night. Um, and the two of them working together, that was kind of big that night that they came together for that. And the, another thing, sometimes I, I will play, I'll just play with light. There was this light up on the wall, this really kind of weird light fixture. So for a whole series of shots, I was just playing with that light. And then this flame thing kind of happened underneath. Um, this is Mayor Dash in Stirling, Scotland. And for the, the weekend festival. And what I like about this is um, Kim and Thurston are often going off in different directions with their energy and their projects. But there was something about the set this night that Kim had this kind of cape that had a, a flair to it. And there was so much communication between the two of them as they performed that night. I just, I really like and, and in some cases, it was hard for me to pick only three. This was a set that, in particular, it was hard to narrow it down. And I was trying to pick three or four from a set um, to represent that particular event. This next series is um, photos that are going with Ron Schneiderman to Copenhagen for this uh, cultural exchange grant that he's doing. This is a picture of him at the Wilder Benefit. And uh, I called it Ron Moving On. <laughs> and I, I gave these photos to him today, and I was really waiting to see his response when he saw it. And I, at first I said, do you know who this is? He says, no. I said, well, that's you. <laughs> but then once we talked about it a little bit, he was, I think he was really pleased with it and kind of it felt that it fit him at that particular point in time. Um, and this is, you saw those believers pictures earlier. Um, this is from that same set where they had the white outfits on. And I rarely play with Photoshop, but I did for this one. And there's something called glowing outlines or some such filter that you can put on it. And uh, I, it just seemed to fit the energy in this picture. Um, this is dreadful. I'm trying to remember which. Of course, you know I had to not use mm -hmm. dreadful pictures throughout the whole thing. <laughs> so now I'm trying to remember where this is from. Um, but yeah. <laughs> This is, this is another Photoshop thing. that these, these felt dark to me. And it worked OK in the photograph, but then I did a little bit of playing with that. This is, a, oh, wait a minute. This is Glad Tree. Yeah, this is Glad Tree. Um, and so it was really dark in the room. And that's another thing. Um, the Red Barn is such a nice place to take photographs at because the uh, the lighting changes, especially to a daytime festival. The lighting in the back of that room changes. And, and this was like really dark, and I think there were some posts with lights. But somehow, I, th I think there's something of what Dan does there. And um, there, too. And this is um, <laughs> in Guilford, Vermont. Um, and this is one night when we were at um, Matt and Erica's, and we were trying to come up with something for some album art. And uh, certainly there's some energy there. OK. Oh, um, this you may not be able to see, but this is Chris Cassano. And this is Paul Flaherty. And this is um, McPhee. And they were playing, this is when Chris came back from Europe. And they were playing at the book mill in um, November, and there was a tropical depression, and there was just so much swirl in that room that night, and then with these three guys performing. Um, this is an, another set that I had trouble just picking a couple from, and this is another night that was like a really uh, big night for me to start to understand what I was trying to do with the camera when I took these kinds of photos. And this one, just like the room bent, and that, you know, it just kind of felt that way that night. Um, this is uh, the odd space again, and the, the Moore clan, the kind of extended clans uh, around Thurston playing. And I just 
think that Thurston being another central figure um, from this area. Um, and another thing I try to do is to take the camera and move in a swirl and, and find what is pivotal in the picture at the moment to try and um, pull that energy together. And this is one photo where that worked. Hmm. And sometimes the energy is a place. Um, and of course, it's the people that make the place. But like this building, you know, there are certain places that make you feel welcome and make you feel like there's, um, like you belong there. And this is the new mystery train. And John Shaw again. He, 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 he showed up. I don't know. Um, but yeah, this was this was a wonderful night. And I, there was just something about the glow of the place from the outside. Um, and Joshua. Mm -hmm. The book now. Um, and another pivotal figure um, that I don't know where to be without some of the mystery train connections. Okay, this now this is um, Persona McPhee and Flaherty again. And, and so this is, um, I'm trying to think how long ago, maybe about a year ago now, maybe two. This is more recent. And this kind of makes me feel like I've, I've come a long ways with what I'm trying to do because this seems to be have more clarity and work better. Also, the lighting's better, and that of course that changes everything. It's like an ultrasound. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and just how that horn was—that's how yeah. that horn was moving. Um, and yeah, another. This you know, this was another series where there were so many with that horn that I just had trouble picking. Um, and. You know, those hands on the drum that just, how many drumsticks do you see? <laughs> and Paul, Paul's intensity. This is really chopped on the top, oh, but um, the, just the way the horn is bent and what you can see that's in this picture is the intensity in his face where he's just really so concentrated on what he's doing. Um, oh. Well, you can kind of get it. Um, this is Paul and Chris together. And there's just something about the energy and the connection between the two of them that I, I think um, is there. And, and, you know, I have to say, if this night is dedicated to anybody, it's Paul. So there. Um, oh, hmm, this kind of works. Um, this is the Matt Crafting Band. Um, and it's also kind of chopped because what's over here is the person that he's moving toward and communicating with as they're performing. And there's this like real, str I guess that's maybe what I'm working on now, is, is trying to grasp and grab relationships, moments in relationships that are um, kind of poignant. And, and this, is, this is kind of just to show the camera moves. Like, I realize I have a repertoire of camera moves now. And one of them is this, and, um, and that's what this is. And the focus, this is kind of the swirl thing. But the focus here is, is the, the sound um, hole in the guitar. And then in this one, it's this, kind of the same technique, but the, the swirl, center of the swirl is there. And, that can be done intentionally, or sometimes it can happen accidentally. And this is more a side-to-side -side movement. And then, of course, this is up and down. But this kind of has the sense of weight to it. Um, so, and so there it is. It's everywhere, all around us, energy. And I think a lot of it's just taking time to pay attention. And uh, that's it. Awesome. <laughs> The energy, thank you so much. That was great. Thank really you great for the um, so the energy is going to swirl around Mary and Jess in a moment. You just got to set up a few things. So.